Loving Light Cancer, welcome to the channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. So, hope you guys are doing well. The energy that came out in the pre-shuffle, and this energy has been coming out, I feel like, for about a week to two weeks now, where you're dealing with someone here, and now this could very well be your energy. Just put it where it feels familiar to you. Somebody is in this grieving process. They feel like they made a mistake. They're in this Five of Cups energy, which is like definitely grieving, right? And this came out in two different decks when I was pre-shuffling the Five of Cups energy. You could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, or your person could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. But this person feels like they made a mistake. Um, this po person is like mourning the loss of the connection between the two of you. This person's definitely in their head. I feel like this person resisted changing or like this person was stubborn. I feel like this person was definitely overly critical. It was like you're dealing with someone here who was quick to point out what somebody else did wrong. This person didn't want to take accountability for anything that they did or anything that they said. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody don't want me to give you this message, but we are going to get this message. You could be a Virgo or this person could be a Virgo, but I just feel like this person was overly critical of you guys or this person made excuses just to um, and didn't take accountability just to keep the pressure off of them or you know what I mean? Like instead of them realizing like or take, admitting that they were doing something wrong here. Um, for some of you all, this person was petty as hell. Um, you know what I'm saying? Let's see though. We're, we'll continue to see what this energy is. I feel like this person was definitely really petty. And you just, you just said, you know what? You threw your hands up. You're like, I'm done. I can't do this. Show me the collective energy here. Yeah. Four cups here. I'm telling you, this person, whoever is in this lack mindset here, this person is like somebody here who doesn't let go of the past. Okay, this is somebody here who um, might have might have been possessive and jealous over you when it came to anything that you were doing, or I feel like this person just didn't forgive, but they did so much stuff, you know what I mean? Um, also, this person kind of can't let go of you because you made them very happy here with this Ten of Cups being here. <clears throat> Show me what else here for the, for the collect this person. <clears throat> this person is pushed it Nine of Cups in reverse, I'm telling you. This person's sad without you. They were very, very selfish. I'm telling you, you were dealing with a very selfish, stubborn person. You know, that's just what it is. Let's move to another day. So you, your person could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy is here. What else? Yeah, see, this person is worried that it's too late that you'll take them back is what I'm getting here. Or is they're worried that they'll never hear from you again. You know, uh, for some of you all, this person like ghosted you or like didn't come. They were a horrible communicator, like or somebody here ghosted you or you just stopped talking to this person. I don't know who that is. Um, some of you are dealing with an Aquarius here or you could be an Aquarius. Yeah, this person, I feel like they were intimidated by you here at first. See, I feel like you, you're you showing up as somebody here who was like open to listening. You're emotionally mature, but this person wasn't. Show me what else about this person. Yeah, see what I'm saying? This person wasn't, wasn't emotionally mature because they had some childhood issues. So this has something to do with here, like with how this person was raised, how this person, what this person saw. For some of you all, this person looks really, really good. Like this person takes care of their body. So they might be a little narcissistic or they know they look good. So they can, they feel like they can act like whatever here. Or this person takes pride in their body or this could be you too. Whoever it is, I feel like like this like it's a gym buff for somebody but this person wants your forgiveness yeah some of you all you're really de dealing with you may have met this person at the gym or somewhere that had something to do with physical fitness for some of y'all this person could be a personal trainer they don't have to be but i'm telling you this person know they made a mistake and that and now they're in this five of cups energy and they want your forgiveness all 
Alright, what do they want? Why, you're not waiting on this person, though. I feel like you, and they know that you're not waiting, and that's why they're so worried right now. Yeah, you're not waiting, and you're focused on your own self-collective. This is your energy here. Focused and not waiting. Okay, you. I feel like you really kind of don't give a damn whether or not this person, whatever this person got has going on. I think you guys don't care. Show me, show me why this person wants forgiveness. What did they do? What, okay. High priestess. Keeping secrets. What did they do? Six of cups. This person hid a lot of stuff from the past. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And the four of swords. I feel like this person hid their emotions from you. You know what I mean? This person, for a lot of you, this person definitely went ghost on you a couple times because it's giving the energy of like when you said something or you called this person on their bullshit or whatever it was like right when they were doing it, right? Or you wanted to talk about something, this person just didn't want to hear anything that you had to say. But this person was quick to come to you about something is what is given here. So, you know, they're thinking about you now. With this Six of Cups being here, trust me. Show me this High Priestess. Clarify the High Priestess. Thank you. The Six of Wands, prideful. This Six of Wands in reverse. This was definitely somebody here who was self-centered, narcissistic, like I said. Um, you know, very vain. You know what I mean? Like somebody who loved to show off and get attention. Show me more about this High Priestess. I feel like when other people, this is someone here who, male or female, this is somebody here who, if anybody else gave them attention, right? Because this person was seeing other people, right? They feel like they look good. They can get whatever it is that they want from anybody, okay? Then this, anybody show this person some attention, this person just like ate it up like it was cake. Okay, then we have the world, which came out crossing here. And this is really like, you know... <laughs> <sighs> this person, I feel like is, is, first of all, there's unfinished business between the two of you. This person feels like it's not over, you know, but this person also feels like they're stuck in a karmic cycle. Like they can't, there's no growth here. You know what I mean? There's just stagnation and disappointment in this person's life because this person takes shortcuts and they didn't want to do the work. Clarify the Six of Cups, please. Why is the Six of Cups here? Show me more about the Six of Cups. Six of Coins in reverse. One-sided. I'm telling you, this person is thinking about how they undervalued you, undervalued you and they were one-sided. And this person had... This was not unconditional love. This was conditional love. That's what it's giving. That's what, yeah, Eight of Swords. Now it's like... This, this person stuck in their head over what they did. Okay. Uh oh, what was that? Hold on, y'all. Seven of Cups. <laughs> oh, okay. So now this person wants to come out of their head now and take action. Now they have a clear understanding of what the hell's going on here with this Seven of Cups. <clears throat> this person knew that they they know they knew their temperament. They knew they were in this Queen of Wands energy. They knew they were. Like this person, I feel like they because this person looked good or they they were fit or whatever cuz it's Queen of Wands in reverse with this Page of Wands energy is with the Two of Cups in reverse. It's like no. <clears throat> People, I feel like, enabled this person to do. So, like, whoever this person was dealing with here, uh, the, the other, whoever these other people were, whoever the third parties were, right? It's like they allowed this person to get away with certain things because of how this person looked. They allowed this person to have this sort of awful attitude because they look great or something like that or do these things. But this person is, like... Immature, you know, has some growing to do. Let's keep it real. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now this person is like stuck and paralyzed in this stuck and paralyzed energy since the two of you haven't talked. 
on your own. Some of you all are dealing with the air sign who's a Libra here. This person says, I, I know I acted as if I couldn't make my mind up about our relationship, but it was really because I was scared. Scared of you hurting me and me hurting you. Mm hmm Yeah. That's that inner childhood wounds. Completion. So I feel like you guys are have moved on. You're getting good karma. You moved on. You're celebrating things that are happening for you in your life. You're fulfilled. See, the world came out in reverse for this person. But the fulfilled energy is like this energy for you is, I feel like, is your energy. You're doing good. Um, and you, you know, your life is moving. You've completed a karmic cycle. You're not going back to that. You're happy. You're satisfied. You're getting what you want out of life, right? You're growing and healing. And this person, I feel like, is not... You know, show me what else about this person. Denial. Yeah, for a lot of you all, this person denied that they were either A, involved with other people when you try talking to them about it. For some of you all, this person denied the connection between the two of you that they felt like they felt something so strong that they were like in denial about it and they just wanted to continue to play games. You know what I mean? Or, you know, it's like the right person, wrong time type energy. They weren't ready to commit, you know, because this person has a lot of, like I said, growing up to do. All right. Um, this says... I realize there's something between us, but I do not have the time or the capacity to understand it. Everything is too much, too soon, and I have other things I need to deal with. Doesn't that sound narcissistic? So stay over there, man. That's how you want to do the collective. Show me more here about the situation. Yeah, because... I don't like this energy very much for you guys. Yeah, this person's obsessed with you, this person is obsessed with you sexually, you guys. Some of you all are, have moved on and some of you all are expecting a child here from someone else. You have a new beginning or you're birthing a new project. There are things in your life you're, that you are very happy with. There are things in your life that you are celebrating right now, okay? Um, that's amazing if you are. And I feel like this person is, this is the, your person's energy, total drama. And they're venting to their family and their friends about their issues that they're going through right Right now so you're showing up as the world upright right which is you've moved on you've understood you, you've closed out the cycle you you successfully completed the cycle now you're happy the wheel is turning for you you know you're you're on a good side of karma and this person is in, in this drama energy they feel like they made a mistake they're stuck you know it's just it's this person didn't keep promises they may have promised you some things and they didn't keep those promises and they know that, okay? This person was all about like, for some of you all, this person may love to go to strip clubs or something here or somebody could be dating a stripper who's crazy or something like that. Illusions, be careful of drama and falseness. You being deceived by appearances. So this person was a, deceived by appearances or other people. You, or you could have been deceived by this person's appearance after you realized who they really were, right? Um, somebody who is definitely stuck in some form of illusion. It says, my obsession thinking got the best, my obsessive thinking got the best of me. I allowed my emotions and others to control and dictate my actions towards our connection. I finally understand I need to trust my own intuition. Too late now, I feel like. It's too late to apologize. It's too late. There goes this King of Swords, the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Let's see what this King of Swords is talking about here. We didn't see air energy and Aquarius came out. What? Why is the King of Swords here? Who is this King of Swords? Queen of Swords. So that's somebody's divine counterpart. Let's find out more. Let's find out more. There we go. The King of Swords to the Queen of Swords. Show me about this connection. Show me more about this King of Swords and this Queen of Swords. Thank you, Spirit Guides. We have the Tower. Interesting. Scorpio energy. Let's keep going. Hmm, the world. So there was an un... There's that world card. Okay, so there is a shocking, abrupt ending here between you and this person. Could be dealing with a Leo, an Aquarius, a Taurus, or a Scorpio also here. This was an abrupt ending. 
This Queen of Swords has their back turned to this King of Swords. This Queen of Swords is ready and waiting, is facing this tower and this world card. This person, I feel like this Queen of Swords is the one who want, is ready to move on. She's like, bring it on. I'm ready. So you're ready for whatever I feel like, you know, because the Queen of Swords is not someone here you want to play with. Show me more here about this Queen of Swords. Yeah, the chariot moving on, overcoming obstacles, cancer energy. This is you moving on. Victoriously, I might add. All right, I don't know what this is about, but show me more energy on this King of Swords. Show me the King of Swords energy. Page is it's too late to apologize. Didn't I say that? This King of Swords wants to apologize. <laughs> show me more for this King of Swords. Look, I apologize for the delusions and the illusions and the confusion. <laughs> And you putting you in all these options and dealing with all these other people. I'm sorry. Can we please work together? Three of Pentacles. Scorpio Capricorn energy here. Show me more from this King of Swords. Yeah, can we please work together? I, I, I'm willing to work on it here. I'll do whatever it takes, even though it may take a long time to gain your trust back. I'm willing to do that. Show me this Knight of Swords. But this per yeah, Capricorn energy here. Look at this, the, de the devil. Like, this person is still, they, this person, is, I mean, they're still in this devil energy. I don't know what to say. Like, they haven't changed, it looks like. Do they want to work on something? Yeah, but they still, like, I don't know. For some of you, all depends on how the conversation goes. And that's if you even really want to talk to this person, to be quite honest. Show me more energy on this King of Swords with this devil energy here. Oh, yeah. This person has a big mouth. They they are. A, they Somebody has a temper. Knight of Swords, the devil. Somebody's angry with you or upset with you here. Or if something could have blew up. There could have been an explosive argument here. Show me more about this King of Swords. This King of Swords is angry or this person has an anger problem. Show me more on the King of Swords. Four of Pentacles. And they're stubborn as hell too. I'm telling you, and they're stubborn. This person does not let go of anything. You could apologize to this person and they still would accept your apology and walk around the house and like... Say nothing's wrong with them, but something is, is wrong with them. This is energy. Somebody has anger problems. They're passive aggressive. Mm -mm. This person is going through a bunch of burdens right now, though. I'll tell you that now. They could be going through some form of financial difficulty. I just saw the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the day. You know. Mm -mm. What else do we need to know about this King of Swords? Spirit guides. Ten of Swords, this person, I'm telling you, they know this, this ending that they put you in. They know what they did. They know they were wrong. This person's like looking at their phone on their text messages or looking you up at night or looking at old pictures, photos, whatever. I don't, you know what I mean? They're looking at late at night. This person's on their phone. Hurt. Hurt, hurt. All right, show me what else for this King of Swords. Let's get one more. Ace of Cups. New love. So this person wants to reconcile. Two, two, two of Swords. They're still giving the energy of a stalemate. You know what I mean? It's giving the energy of stalemate. What are this person's intentions when they come back towards the collective? Okay. They are going to come back and run, and run back towards you. Some of you all are dealing with the Sagittarius here. I feel like this person is going to run back towards you and really want to talk. Um, but again, I feel like this person is messy. This person might get angry with you um, and be like real boastful or like their ego is just on a thousand. I feel like. You know, they might come towards you and be honest, but I feel like it's, it's giving like the approach, the approach here sucks. 
it's like awful, you know. <sighs> They feel lost without you. Um, they're going through some form of dark night of the soul here. They do blame themselves, whether you know it or they admit it or not. They're definitely feeling the pain and they're feeling hopeless and grieving. And they know they made a mistake. They do. They're, are, they are about to chase you. <sighs> I feel like if you were to tell this person what they did, I feel like they would deny it. They would deny it. I really do. I really do. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. Then we'll end the reading. What does this person want to say to the collective, please? I sometimes stare at my phone and become stuck. Yeah. That's the energy I was getting earlier. I'm like, some of you guys, sometimes late at night, they're looking at their phone and they're looking, reading text messages or looking at like your pictures or looking you up on social media somewhere. They're looking at you or they're looking at old photo photographs or text messages or something. <clears throat> I'm really sorry about everything. Yeah, that's that page of cups energy. And I need to own up to where I feel short in this relationship. You see what I'm saying, you guys? You see, you see, I can't stop thinking about you. You are always in my dreams. You are always in my dreams. Yeah. Let's get one more. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I need more time to heal and love myself. And they do. And do. They definitely do. So give this person some time to get it together and figure it out. Now, again, for some people that takes months, some people that takes years, some people never change. Hopefully your person will, uh, but just be aware, you know, that an argument or something could pop off because I low-key feel like this person may come towards you, but their ego still is in the, in the way and they still are like not regretting or like willing to be upfront about their part here. They know they were wrong, but they just are like still immature, not mature enough to be in the space to just admit it and be honest with you. They can be honest with themselves and sit back late at night and think about this when they're all alone, but for them to come towards you and do this is a totally different thing because that's just not the way their ego is set up. And that ego, remember, stems from childhood wounds, inner childhood, how they were raised. Um, you know, or a lack of a parent, whatever that is or whatever that could look like. You know what I mean? So hang in there. <laughs> Looks like your life is doing great. Congratulations if you're expecting a child or congratulations if you just started a new project that's going amazing. Good for you. Um, until next time, you guys. All right. Bye.